I could really go for a snack right now. What time is it? Hey, Lina, is the supermarket still open? <laughs> Kiss, not you. Hey, Lila, is the supermarket still open? Yes, it is, but no, you're not going to get cookies again. Sorry. <sighs> what do you think? I had so much fun creating this hologram and I cannot wait to show you how you can create this super easy hologram in Premiere Pro. And I didn't even tell you the best part yet because the best part is you don't need a green screen. I repeat, we do not need a green screen. Now, of course, if you have a green screen, feel free to use it, but chances are, if you're watching this video, you don't have a green screen. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. We can easily remove the background in Premiere Pro even without a green screen. If this is your first time here and we haven't met before, hi, my name is Dila, so lovely to meet you. And on this channel, it is all about video. So if you wanna improve your video, or if you want to learn some cool effects like the hologram effect in this video, then make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell. <sighs> I'm actually a little bit out of breath. All right, let's open up Premiere Pro and look at the assets that we need for this video. We need to shoot two videos in order for this to work. The first video is of us interacting with the hologram. And if you've watched my other video, you know, and if you haven't watched that one yet, it's all fake. It is all a scheme and we're all in it because we're all going to do this and we're going to create epic holograms and we're going to make them look so real that people actually think that it's real. The second video that we need is the hologram video. When it comes to the hologram video, there are a few things that you need to pay attention to. And the first one is that you stand in front of a solid colored wall. But make sure that there is enough distance between you and the wall so that there is no shadow. Now, the second thing that I want you to pay attention to is the contrast between you and the wall. And what do I mean by that? Well, you don't want to blend in with the wall. You don't want to wear a blue shirt and stand in front of a blue wall because then you won't have a torso and it's not going to look cute. And for example, me, if I were to stand in front of a beige wall, my face would disappear. <laughs> and then the last thing when you're going to film this, make sure that either at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video, you leave it rolling for a few seconds to capture the empty wall because we're going to need this footage in order to remove the background in Premiere Pro. As you can see, I also imported sound effects. I imported a whoosh and a sci-fi ambience sound. Sound effects are so important. And if you wanna know where I got these sound effects from, they're from Epidemic Sound. There is a free trial in the description if you wanna go and get those sound effects. I recommend you do because these sound effects will level up your hologram video, trust me. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag our hologram video to the timeline. Let's find the few seconds of the empty wall. Hit C on your keyboard to create a cut and I'm quickly going to remove the axis and I'm going to remove the audio track by right clicking on the clip and then click on unlink. And what you can do now is you can either take a screenshot or you can just slow this part down, which is what I'm going to do. It's not super professional, but we're here to have fun. So I'm just going to slow it down and then I'm going to put it on top of the hologram video. And I wanna make sure that the entire hologram video is covered with the empty wall. This is actually one of the two methods that I'm going to show you. And this method in particularly works well if you use a light colored wall, because what we're going to do is we're going to select the top layer. So of the empty wall, we're going to go to effect controls and then under opacity, go to blend mode, click on the drop down menu and click on divide. Now, as you can see, everything has brightened. Now, if you're not standing in front of a light colored wall, it may look very, very weird. And that is where method two comes in. And this is what I did with Gizmo. So let me quickly show you what I did with Gizmo's video. I went to effects and if you don't see effects and you don't see effect controls, go to window and then make sure that both of them are ticked. So I went to effects and I typed in ultra key. As you can see, it popped up right here on the effect controls tab. And then what I did was I clicked on this eyedropper and I clicked on the wall. And as you can see, it looks super clean. Now, if your image doesn't look super clean, then go into the settings and clean up your image. So if you stood in front of a wall like this one, then try this out. And if this doesn't work, let's go back to the other method, the method that I'm going to use for my hologram video. All right, let's start where we left off. So we changed the blend mode to divide. And as you can see, it is a lot brighter, but because it's a light colored wall, we're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and select both of the clips and then right click and hit nest. Now you can give your nested sequence a name or you can just call it nested sequence one, two, three, four, 
whatever, whatever you want. Now that it has changed into this green layer, we're gonna go to effects. And instead of using the ultra key, we're going to use the color key. As you can see, there is another eyedropper right here. So we're just going to click on that and then we're going to click on the background. Then what you want to do is you just want to play around with the color tolerance, the edge thin and the edge feather. And I cannot really give you any numbers for that because it really depends on your own background. It could also be the case that you need to add a few more of these color key effects totally fine the goal here is to remove the background if that means that we need to use a few more color keys we'll just we'll just go ahead and do that as you can see the highlights on my face are being removed too so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep it to a minimum but because we're going to downsize it we're going to change the opacity and we're going to add a bunch of effects it's not a problem don't worry if there are still particles showing what we're going to do now is we're going to create a mask in order to hide all of those imperfections so in order to do that we're going to go to opacity then click on the pen tool and then start drawing a mask around yourself All right, so now that this looks pretty good, it doesn't need to look perfect because it's a hologram and we're going to size it down. So don't worry if it doesn't look perfect, but if it looks decent enough, we're going to go back to the effects tab and we're going to type in RGB. There are two options. There's the color balance option and there is the curves option. I'm going to use the color balance option, but I just want to show you what the curves option is in case you like that better. So we're going to drag the RGB curves onto our nested sequence. As you can see, there are four lines here. We have our master, red, green, and blue. So in order to use the curves, we're clearly going to change the colors right now is, for example, you can grab the red and you can lower it. And as you can see right here, the colors have changed. But the reason why I'm not using RGB curves in this video is because I know that not everyone knows how to read curves. So for that reason, we're going to use the color balance RGB. Now, as you can see, you get the red, blue and green value again. And all you have to do now is just slide the numbers to the left or the right, either to bring in more color or to eliminate the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the reds. So I'm going to set that to zero. And now it's already a nice blue tint. So now I'm just going to play around with the greens and the blues. That looks pretty decent to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the horizontal lines to make it look a little bit more digital. So we're going to have to add the effect called wave warp drag that onto your clip and the first thing that we're going to change is the wave type now for the wave type we want to set it to square and we're going to change the direction to zero because we want the lines to be horizontal and not vertical so this already looks a lot better but i don't want bars the bars are way too thick i want lines so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the wave height and the wave width if I increase the wave height, you will see that it separates the image. And then this is the hardest part of the tutorial for me because I've had other videos where I had to say this, the, the wave width, the wave width, wave width. Okay, so please bear with me. The wave width, yes. The wave width <laughs> refers to how thick the bars are. And in this case, we don't want bars, we want lines. So we want to reduce the value. Oh my God, this already looks good. I am getting a little bit excited right now because when I see this, when I see it all take shape and it actually starts looking like a hologram, I just, I don't know, call me a dork. I don't care. I don't care. I'm excited. Be excited with me. All right, let's add our next effect. And our next effect is a noise effect. And then under noise and grain, grab that noise effect and drop it on your nested sequence. All right, let's change the amount to whatever looks good and let's untick the use color noise box. Next, in order to make it a little bit more realistic, we are going to uh, flip the video. So we're going to type in a flip, click on horizontal clip and again, just drag and drop it on your nested sequence. All right, now is the time to move our nested sequence from V1 to V2 and drop our foundation clip. So of us interacting with the hologram underneath it. Now we need to change the perspective. We've already flipped it, but we also need to change the perspective. And there are two effects that you can use. If you want to go for a more basic, easier effect, then go for the basic 3D effect. Now I like to use the corner pin effect. And the reason why I like the corner pin effect is because you can grab all of the corners and you can just really move it around. You can really change the perspective manually. And that is what I prefer. It does take a little bit of time to get this right. So just take your time, put on a good song, have a drink, get the corner pin right, and then we can move on to the next step. And while you're doing this, also scroll up to the top to change the position, the scale and the rotation. Okay, so I'm done with the corner pin effect. So I'm going to go back to effects and I'm going to type in glow. Then you want to select alpha glow. 
And then here you can change the start color and the end color, and you can change it to the color of your hologram. You can either do that by clicking on here and then looking for that color, or you can use the eyedropper and then select the color like so. And then just play around with the glow and the brightness. Now it is time to change the opacity. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we click on the stopwatch because we don't want any keyframes. We want the entire video to be transparent and not only part of the video. Okay, so the hologram looks great, but it's pretty useless right now because we cannot do anything with it. It, it is not synchronized to our video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set markers for every time I say something or I do something in my foundation clip. When you're adding your markers, you can disable the track with the hologram video on it because Premiere Pro will run more smoothly and it's just easier to see. And then what we want to do is we want to align the nested sequence. So we want to align our hologram with that video. Now it's a little bit tricky because we are doing something in both of the clips. We're talking in the hologram video, and we're talking in the foundation clip. So one little trick that I have for you, or a little tip actually that I have for you, is when you film either of the videos, make the pauses a little bit longer. It's better to have to cut it out than to have to freeze your frame. <laughs> so if you have a longer pause and you just stand still, you probably won't notice it. And I would recommend you to do this with your hologram video because that's gonna be smaller than your foundation video, which is the entire screen. Now that everything is synchronized, we need to animate the beginning of the hologram. So go to the beginning of the hologram and then go right here to motion and here you'll see position and scale. Then click on the two little stopwatches in front of position and scale to create your keyframes. And this is our end position because we have already established where we want the hologram to be. So you want to create keyframes for that first. Then go back a few frames and change the position and lower the scale until it's zero. Now that it pops out of our screen, we want to add the whoosh effect. So go back to your project bin and then select the whoosh effect and drop that right where the animation starts. So right where the hologram pops out of the screen. And now we need to add our ambient sound. Let's not forget a very important audio effect called the high pass. Type in high pass and then add that to the audio of your hologram. Now just play around with the settings until it sounds good to you. All right, let's play through the video. I could really go for a snack right now. What time is it? Hey, Lina, is the supermarket still open? <laughs> Kiss, not you. Hey, Lila, is the supermarket still open? Yes, it is, but no, you're not going to get cookies again. Sorry. <sighs> Come on, this looks so cool. I'm not a braggy person, but I do really think that we accomplished something today. This looks dope. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you made it this far into the video, please, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell in case you wanna be notified when new videos come out. And if you cannot wait until the next video, which I totally understand, <laughs> make sure, oh my God, make sure to watch this video. I am very sorry if this was your first introduction to me I, and I'm very sorry this is actually who I am so hope to see you in that video.